Hey guys, today I want to do a quick review of my Alden Indie Boots. This is the 403 model. I just picked it up. I got it on a Friday two days ago and um, I just wanted to quickly kind of show you what I got. This is in the box that it came in and um, it comes with two bags and uh, so let's put the box aside here and let's look at the at the shoe first. So this is the Alden 403. Uh, model this came directly from um, Alden uh, from the factory this is the brown chrome XL um, model uh, leather so I'm just going to do a quick walk around here let's look around so I'll tell you a little bit about why I got this shoe so I um, I wanted I went to the Alden shore in San Francisco and you know, originally I was skeptical of paying 500 bucks plus, uh, $500 plus for these. But then when I put them on, I realized how comfortable they are. They have this true balance last, right? It's a true balance last. And um, I just felt it very, very snug and extremely comfortable on my sh on my feet. And um, I just like the look of this brown Chrome XL leather. It just looks really, really good. And in comfort wise, it just felt really, really good. And then with a pair of jeans, it looks really cool on mine. So I just, you know, I, I went, as soon as I put it on, I started walking around there in the store. I just realized that, you know, I had to, I wanted to get a pair in these. Um, so I forked out quite a, you know, all my, uh, forked out my money to buy this. And um, so far I've been pretty happy with this. Uh, I mean, I haven't really worn it a significant amount of time, but just walking around at at home on, on the carpet. It just feels really, really good. I'm gonna put them on with my jeans and kind of give you a, a look and kind of what it looks like. But one thing I notice about these Alden shoes is the stitching is 270 degrees. I don't know why they didn't go 360 degrees. I'm not sure what the reason is, but um, you know, I think if I, if I had a choice, I would have preferred if it went all the way around, but they only kind of cut it up to here. I don't know what the reason is. This has got the cork, cork uh, sole and uh, very, very comfortable. Um, I'm not sure how, you know, the sole is gonna wear over time, but I just liked it. I'll just get the sole replaced if, if, I, if, I, if I wanted in the future. So let's, uh, I'm gonna put these on, uh, show you how these look on me. And then, um, you know, I just wanna thank you for watching, but I'm gonna put these on with my jeans and give you a quick look how it looks like. Okay, I got the uh, the shoes on. Hope um, let's just give you a quick look. Got them on with my jeans. Hopefully, you can see what it looks like. Um, I just like the the fit of these. They're very very comfortable. My feet feel very very secure, and I don't think it'll be you know traction. I've got good traction here, and my feet feel very extremely planted. You know, just a couple of steps of this in the um the san francisco shop um you know when i went to alden san francisco I, as soon as i put them on i knew how comfortable they felt and these are really i would say this is probably the most comfortable pair of shoes that i've had or boots and they just um i like the way they look with a pair of jeans um this color is nice i think these for me look a little bit better than the 405s the 405s is a slightly more reddish color, but in terms of wearing it with jeans, these look pretty good. I think they look better. Just the contrast with the white stitching, you can see the contrast with the white stitching. And, um, you know, they just feel really, really good. I got the 12D, so definitely go half size down. I'm really a 12.5, so I went half size down, and these fit me just fine. Um, I think with these brown shoes, yes, they are casual shoes, but I think I can, I could wear it formally with, uh, with you know, proper formal clothes, just give a different look. On some occasions, I could pull the, pull the look off with a, with a suit or light kind of uh, semi-formal. So, yes, you know, in term, would you, should you pay 522 bucks for a pair of shoes? It just depends. I mean, I wanted one really, really extremely good pair of shoes in my in my wardrobe, so I and I, so I decided to invest in these, the 403s. These should last a lifetime. I know the sole will definitely not last a lifetime. The sole can be replaced, um, you know, for a fee to Alden. 
and uh, you know I I'm just I'm just very happy with this decision. I think I got got the right color for me. The 403, this brown Chrome XL looks really good. I think this will get darker over time. This is just the view on day one, so the look will get darker over time. Let's look at it from this side. Um, but you know it just feels really comfortable. Feels. I like it so far. Um, is there anything that I don't like about these uh, shoes? Obviously the cost, right? 500 bucks for a pair of shoes is pretty expensive. Um, so, but what, kind of what I thought of it was it's an investment and if in, in the future if I ever wanted to uh, kind of get rid of it, right? If I wasn't unhappy or I just didn't want to wear these, I could resale these and I wouldn't get my full price back but I think I could get a major portion of my price back. I think there's a good demand for secondhand Alden shoes in the marketplace. So I figured get a couple of years worth of wear out of it. If I ever wanted to sell it in the future, I could just sell it and get some, some you know, a good portion of my money back. It's kind of like an investment. Um, and also, you know, the, given the fact that these Alden shoes go up in price every year, um, so I paid 522, and then this year it went up to 530. Uh, just to, you know, in February they go up in February each year. So so far I'm happy. So hey guys, thanks for watching my video. Do subscribe, and um, I'll see you guys on the next one.